for this lecture, we will be discussing the Laplace transforms, the derivatives of the transforms. So what we do here is, given a function ft and assuming that its Laplace transform is known such that f of t is an f of s. So this one, this is the Laplace transform. The Laplace of t times f of t is basically negative first derivative of the f of s. And then if it's t to the second power f of t, it's the second derivative of f of s. So I know it's quite a lot to take in. What I want you to focus on is the formula underneath. The Laplace of any t raised to n f of t is actually equal to negative 1 raised to n, the nth derivative of the f of s, or it's this one. But for me, I usually just um, take note of this. And it's important that you know those. So let's try. First example, in here, you know you're given this. Um, that there, the n is 2. Okay. So according to the formula, the Laplace of any t raised to n times f of t is actually equal to negative 1 raised to n and then the nth derivative of f of s of the Laplace itself. So if I ask you guys, what is the, the f of t? Isn't it that the f of t here is e to the negative 3t? Because um, for it to look like the formula in here, there's a t to the n. Am I correct, guys? Yes. That means the f of t is e to the 3t. So what is the Laplace of the f of t? Because let's just apply the formula first. What's the Laplace of that one? Can you give me 1 over s plus 3? Very good. So this one, I can rewrite this as s plus 3 to the negative 1. This is what you call the f of s. Am I correct? If that is the f of s, can I ask you, what is the first derivative of f of s? Isn't it negative 1, s plus 3 to the negative 2 times 1? So this is negative s plus 3 to the negative 2. And then the second derivative, how do I know that I need a second derivative? Take note of this n equals 2. So that means I need a second derivative. The second derivative is 2, s plus 3 to the negative 3 times 1. So the answer is 2, s plus 3 to the negative 3. So applying formula, what formula? It's this one the star. Applying the formula, the Laplace of t squared e to the negative 3t would be what? Negative 1 to the n. What's the n? Your n is equal to 2 times f second derivative of s. So let's just apply that formula. So it's positive 1. What's the second derivative? Times 2, s plus 3, negative 3. Or basically, your final answer is 2 over s plus 3 cubed. All right. Now, there's actually something I want to show you. If... If the first shifting theorem is applied, look at this. 
an alternative solution, if the first shifting theorem is applied, what will happen? What's the Laplace of t squared, guys? This is over at the moment it's s to the third. But due to the shifting theorem, this becomes 2 factorial all over s plus 3 cubed or simply 2 all over s plus 3 cubed, right? Aren't they the same? They're the same. It's just that this one, it so happened that, you know, what I gave you was quite easy. You can apply both the first shifting theorem and this one, the derivatives of the transforms. All right? Now, what about if I give you something like this? There are three functions of t's when you notice. There, there's a t. There's an e to the 2t, and then there's cosine of 3t. So what I would do here is, let's just say for number one, if my f of t is cosine of 3t, guys, what would be the Laplace of the f of t? If it's cosine of 3t, what's the Laplace? S over S squared plus 9. So this one is an F of S, right? So take note that in here, the N is equal to 1. Since the N is equal to 1, I need to solve for the first derivative of F of S. So the first derivative of this is low d high. So low d high minus high d low over low squared. So this is 9 minus s squared all over s squared plus 9 squared. And then according to the formula, the Laplace of t times any function of t, t to the n times any function of t is negative 1 to the n, the nth derivative of f of s. Am I correct here, guys? So using this, negative 1 to the 1 times the nth derivative, which is 9 minus s squared all over s squared plus 9 squared. So since there's negative, I can just switch the top. <clears throat> this is your first step. This is your second step. Apply the formula and then the third step is what? Apply first shifting. So for the first shifting, guys, take note that it's E. You're looking at E to the negative 2T. So in here, your A is actually negative 2. So guys, when you apply the shifting theorem, in the formula, in the answer in here, what would be the final answer? Plus 2, quantity squared minus 9 all over. Quantity s plus 2, quantity squared plus 9, this squared is going to So this is your final answer. However, just to let you know, there is... Method number two. For method number two, what we do here is, because some of you might say, sir, what if the chosen f of t 
that I have selected is e to the negative 2t cosine of 3t. What, is, what if this was your selected one? What is the Laplace of your f of t? You can already apply the first shifting theorem. S plus two all over. S plus two re squared. And? Plus nine. Nine. This is your F of S. But the thing is, have we answered the question? Not yet. Because in method number two, this is your step number one. Your step number two is actually apply t to the n f of t is equal to negative one to the n, the nth derivative of f of s. So in here, you'll be getting the, you'll be differentiating a bit more difficult uh, function because in here, look at this. The derivative that we did is only for s all over s squared plus nine. In here, you'll, getting, you'll be getting the derivative of this, but you will still apply the same formula. So you should be getting the same final answer. It's this one. 